Hello, my friends, and welcome to Kurt Berglund's Baseball World. It's time for On Deck Baseball today, and I hope you have a refreshing beverage at the ready. Mm -mm. Alrighty. It is April 6th in our On Deck Baseball season. In the description for this video are links that are very important to you and to me. There's a link to channel membership. With channel membership, you get access to members-only videos. You get a free gift for me every month, and you get discounts on the secondary store. A great value for you, so check that out. And in the description for this video is the link to On Deck Baseball for you to check out as well. There is the On Deck Baseball and then there's the On Deck Baseball Pro that you can check out. It's all on that website. Uh, so it's April 6th. I am replaying the, or playing the Bulls season. And we are four and one in the early, no, I'm sorry, three and one in the early going, going for our fourth victory today. It's the second game of the initial homestand of the season. Uh, the second of three games against the Drillers. Now, it would be ordinarily the turn for my number one starter to come around, but, but he was injured on opening day. And so we have a new starting pitcher going for the Bulls against the Ace for the Drillers. Gonna be interesting to see how this one goes. My Bulls pitching has been a patchwork experience. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, you're with on deck baseball, you are the owner, you're the general manager, you're the manager. There's a lot to think about. There's a number of things to think about and you're still learning. I'm still learning about the players. So I'm also the head of scouting. Uh, so, uh, with no further ado, let's get down to the field. It's the drillers at the bulls, April 6th. My bulls are three and one going for win number four in the early going. Let's see if I can continue the hot streak. Here we go. The drillers order for today. Michael Nelson leads off in left field. Raul Miranda bats second and right. Mark Hagerty bats third. He'll play first base. Rico Morales bats fourth, he'll catch. Bob McPherson bats fifth, he's at second. Martin Reed bats sixth, he's the third baseman. Jose Juarez bats seventh, he's the DH. Vincent Melendez bats eighth, he's at short. And Dave Schultz bats ninth, he will play center field. On the mound, it's Manuel Alvarez. He is a right-hander with a value of 87. He has stamina of five. He's a minus three against righties, a minus five, a minus three against lefties, and a minus five against right-handers. So he is gonna be tough. He is their number one starter. For the homestanding Bulls, my Bulls, very hot team right now. Paul Moody leads off in center. Dave Bryant bats second and right. Pancho Carmona bats third at first base. Bill Scrooby bats cleanup at DH. Juan Ventura bats fifth, he'll catch. Carl Phelps bats sixth, he's at third. Ken Lidstrom takes over for Leroy Ramey in left field today. Ramey off to a very slow start. Lidstrom gets his first start of the season. He'll play left and bat seventh. Chris Lane bats eighth at second base. And Robert Bartlett bats ninth, he'll play short. Raul Huerta will be the pitcher for the Bulls today. He has a value of 62, a stamina of four, and, of, and a, he is a minus one against lefties and a minus three against righties. Nelson steps in the batter's box and the pitch from Huerta is a uh, swung on by Nelson, and that is hit in the air. That is to center field. That's Paul Moody, and he's got it for out number one. Here's Miranda. Huerta's delivery to him is... We're going to need an error check, I think. Let's see what happens here. It's a fly ball that is hit to right field. So that's Dave Bryant country. Let's see if he can handle this one without any difficulty. Uh, it is his primary position, and he 
drops the ball. Dave Bryant with an error. That's an E9 that puts Miranda at first base. And it brings up Haggerty. The stretch by Huerta and the pitch to Mark Haggerty. And I don't like the way this game is starting. This is a ground ball. It is hit to short. Bartlett up the middle. His only play is going to be to Carmona at first. Miranda advances to second. And that will be out number two for the drillers in the first. Now it's Rico Morales. Huerta the stretch, the delivery to Rico. And Rico Morales with a base hit. Miranda will stop at third. There's drillers at the corners and Rob McPherson coming up. Bob McPherson coming up. Huerta the stretch, the delivery to McPherson. Um... And it's popped up. It's a pop-up on the infield dirt. Chris Lane calling and taking for out number three. So the drillers get a couple of base runners, but can't do anything with them. The, dare I say, overachieving Bulls pitching staff continues its good work. We go to the bottom of one, no score. And the Bulls coming to bat. Manuel Alvarez coming to the play, coming to the mound. He's going to tow the slab, and it's Paul Moody and Dave Bryant and Pancho Carmona in the Bulls first. Alvarez deals to Paul Moody, and it's a base hit for the Bulls center fielder to lead off the ball game. That'll bring up Dave Bryant. Alvarez the stretch, the delivery to Bryant. And Bryant hits it, a base hit. A, I mean, it's a base hit <laughs> for, off of Alvarez for Bryant. Moody stops at second. There's two on with nobody out in the bottom of the first, and the Bulls' hot hitting continues. Pancho Carmona the, at the plate. The stretch by Alvarez, the pitch to Carmona, and he struck him out. The upstairs cheese rings up Pancho Carmona. And Bill Scrooby comes up now. Alvarez, the stretch, the delivery to Scrooby. And a base hit for Bill Scrooby. Off of Alvarez's glove, Moody stops at third. Bryant stops at second. The bases are dripping with bulls. There's only one out in Juan Ventura who went deep. And yesterday's game is uh, at the plate. Double play depth for the drillers infield. Alvarez, the stretch. The delivery to Ventura is hit in the air. This goes to center field. Schultz is under it. Um, tagging at third is Paul Moody. Let's see if he's going to be able to score on this one. Uh, Schultz. His arm is a two. Moody is tagging and coming home. The throw from Schultz is not in time. It's a sacrifice fly for Ventura. Moody scores and it's one nothing Bulls in the bottom of the first. Carl Phelps comes to the plate now. Runners at first and second. Alvarez the stretch and the delivery to Phelps. And a struck him out on a bender, and that gets Alvarez out of the first inning, but the Bulls get on the board with a run on three hits. We go to the second. It's Bulls one, Drillers nothing. But I think the odds of Raul Huerta throwing a shutout in this one uh, seem quite long, so we'll see how many runs it is the Bulls need to score to keep up in this game. Reed, Juarez, and Melendez coming up in the Drillers second inning. Huerta kicks and delivers. And Martin Reed strikes out. First strikeout for Huerta. Juarez comes to the plate. Huerta winds and deals to Juarez. And he hits one in the air. This goes to center. That's Paul Moody country. And he's got it for out number two. 
Vincent Melendez up there now. Melendez swings and Melendez strikes out. Huerta's has got it going on in the second. One, two, three. Huerta plows through that drillers lineup. We go to the bottom of two. It's the Bulls one and the drillers nothing. Bottom third of the drillers order coming up in the second. Starting out with the first at bat of the young season for Kenny Lidstrom. Alvarez kicks and delivers to Lidstrom and he struck him out. Third strikeout for Alvarez, one down in the second. Chris Lane comes to the plate. Alvarez kicks and deals to Lane. And it is swung on and hit on the ground by Chris Lane. It goes to third, he fires to first, and there's two away in the Bulls' second inning. Robert Bartlett comes to the plate, maybe the Bulls' hottest hitter. Alvarez deals to him and strikes him out. Number four for Manuel Alvarez in the early going. We've got two in the books, and your score is the Bulls one, and the Drillers nothing. Third inning coming. It's center fielder Schultz, left fielder Nelson, right fielder Miranda. Huerta will start with the number nine hitter here, Dave Schultz. The wind and the delivery by Huerta to Dave Schultz, and he's popped up. This wouldn't be a home run in a phone booth. Pancho Carmona in fair territory is calling and taking for out number one. Michael Nelson up there now. The wind up in the delivery. And he strikes out Nelson. Look at Huerta. The overachieving Bulls. I wonder if pitching is contagious because these guys are way over their, <laughs> over their heads. Raul and Miranda up there now with two outs and nobody aboard. Huerta deals. Miranda swings. And it's popped up. Under it is Pancho Carmona, and he's got it for out number three. So Carmona's keeping busy down there at first base. We go to the bottom of three, and your score is the Bulls one and the Drillers nothing. Top of the order coming for the Bulls in the bottom of the third. Alvarez had a shaky first inning for the Drillers, but he has righted the ship so far. It'll be Moody, Bryant, and Carmona for the Bulls. The wind and the delivery by Alvarez. Moody swings and hits one in the air. This goes to right field and that is out number one. Dave Bryant comes to the plate now. He's 0 for 1. Alvarez kicks and deals to Dave Bryant and Bryant strikes out swinging. Number five for Alvarez. Two gone in the third and seven in a row retired by Manuel Alvarez. Carmona up there now. The wind and the delivery by, and he strikes out Carmona. Number six for Alvarez in the early going. We've played three. Alvarez has now retired eight Bulls in a row. Uh, we go to the fourth and your score is the Bulls one and the Drillers nothing. Hegarty, Morales, and McPherson coming up for the Drillers in inning number four. And this, we're going to do stamina checks after this inning for Huerta. The wind and the delivery to Hagerty is a base hit for Mark Hagerty. The Drillers' first baseman has a leadoff single in the fourth. Here is Rico Morales with the Bulls infield moving to double play depth. The stretch by Huerta and the delivery to Morales is a ground ball. It's hit to Chris Lane at second. His only play is to Carmona at first. That's going to move Haggerty to second, and there is one away in the driller fourth. McPherson comes to the plate. He's 0 for 1. Huerta, the stretch, the delivery to the driller's second baseman, and that is going to be ball four. So control trouble rears its ugly head for Raul Huerta. There's two drillers on with one out in the fourth and now Martin Reed. Double play depth for the Bulls infield. Huerta the stretch, the delivery to Reed who struck out in the second 
And this is going to be trouble for the Bulls. Uh, yeah. All right. Reed is a, mi is a five. It's a minus four, so we got a plus one net. Let's see if Reed's going to go deep to right. And he is. It's gone for a three-run bomb for the Drillers. They are in front, three to one, on a hanging breaking ball by Raul Huerta. That pitch said, hit me, and Martin Reed did. He hit it to the tune of 430 feet to the right field bleachers. All right, so it's 3-1 drillers here comes Juarez the delivery to him and that is swung on by Juarez and it's a line drive caught by Carmona at first there's two down Melendez comes to the plate Huerta looking to just survive the inning he's on the ropes Melendez 0 for 1 the delivery Swung on by Vincent, and this is a base hit to right for Melendez. A two-out single brings up center fielder Dave Schultz. Huerta the stretch, the pitch to the 0-for-1 Schultz. And Schultz hits one in the air, but not deep. Center field, Paul Moody makes the catch for out number three. But in the fourth, the Drillers get three runs on three hits. They leave one. We go to the bottom of four and your score. The Drillers three and the Bulls one. And unfortunately for the Bulls, Manuel Alvarez is dealing in the early going. He'll face Scrooby, Ventura, and Phelps for the Bulls here in the fourth. The wind up and the delivery by Alvarez to Scrooby is a line drive smoked by Scrooby, but caught by third by the third baseman for out number one and that is nine in a row for Manuel Alvarez here's Juan Ventura who hit a sacrifice fly to plate the Bulls only run in the first inning the pitch by Alvarez is swung on and hit in the air by Ventura can of corn for center fielder Dave Schultz and there's two away in the Bulls fourth inning. Carl Phelps up there now. The delivery by Alvarez. Phelps swings and it's another line shot but it's right at the head of Manuel Alvarez who catches it in self-defense and that's going to end the Bulls fourth inning. We go to the fifth and your score is the Drillers three and the Bulls one and we have to do a fatigue check on Raul Huerta our first of the game. Let's see how he's doing here. And, oh my goodness. All right, so that's a minus two. So that's going to be a plus one against lefties and a minus one against righties. And if Raul Huerta can make it through this inning, it's going to be a little bit surprising. So the Bulls' bullpen is stirring. Let's see who they might. Oh, I know who they're going to go to. They're going to go to the youngster. The phenom, Danny Wilmont, is starting to warm up in the Bulls' bullpen. Called up when Daryl Edwards was injured after, on opening day. So the youngster, the 23-year-old, is warming up in the bullpen in case Raul Huerta needs help getting through the fifth. Huerta winds and delivers to leadoff batter Michael Nelson, and Nelson strikes out for out number one. Huerta threw a hanger up there and Nelson swung right through it. One down in the fifth, here's Miranda. Huerta winds and delivers. This is hit in the, in the air by Miranda. It is to right and that's two down. Haggerty comes to the plate. Bryant made a nice catch on that one. Haggerty at the plate, he's one for two. The delivery to him. Haggerty swings and hits one in the air. This goes to left. And that is Lidstrom, and he'll make the catch for out number three. So Huerta survives the fifth. It remains to be seen if he's going to be out there for the sixth. 
First things first, though, let's get the Bulls to get some runs here. Manuel Alvarez is throwing a good one. We're halfway through, and it's the Drillers 3 and the Bulls 1. Bottom third of the Bulls order coming up in the bottom of the fifth. It's Lidstrom, Lane, and Bartlett. Alvarez winds and deals to Lidstrom. And he struck him out. Strikeout number seven for Manuel Alvarez. One down in the fifth. 11 in a row. No, wait a minute. I'm wrong about that. 12 in a row. Wait a minute, is that right? Three, six, nine, 12 in a row retired by Alvarez. Chris Lane at the plate. He's 0 for 1. The windup and the delivery is gonna be drilled by Lane. This is trouble, it gets into the app. Look at Chris Lane run. He's around second heading for third. The relay is gonna be late. Chris Lane in with a head first slide. Safe with a one out triple. Here's Robert Bartlett. That breaks the string for Alvarez. The Bulls can cut the lead if Bartlett can come through. Alvarez, the stretch, the delivery to Robert Bartlett. And that is hit on the ground for Bartlett. It is tapped in front of home plate and Lane's not gonna be able to score. The throw to first, that retires Bartlett. Lane has to hold it third and now Paul Moody comes to the plate. Alvarez, the stretch, the pitch to Moody is gonna be swung on by Moody and that's a base hit. That will score Lane and it's 3-2 drillers. A clutch two out single by Paul Moody brings home Chris Lane with run number two for the Bulls. Here's Dave Bryant, one for two in the game. Alvarez the stretch, the pitch to Bryant. That is swung on by Bryant and popped up. Uh, on the infield, and taken by the third baseman for out number three. But the Bulls scraped together a run against Manuel Alvarez. We are through five innings of play and your score is the Drillers three and the Bulls two. And we're gonna get a new Bulls pitcher. Uh, but before we do that, let's tell you about the day that Raul Huerta had, you know, and it was, he didn't do bad. He didn't do badly. Um, Raul Huerta goes five innings. He allows four hits. He walked one. He struck out four. He allowed three runs. They're all earned. One of those hits was a home run. He's on the hook for the loss unless the Bulls can rally, but it's a 3-2 ball game. Danny Wilmont is on. He has a value of 52, a stamina of four. He's minus one against left-handers and minus three against right-handers. He'll face Morales, McPherson, and Reed coming up in the Drillers' sixth inning. All right, Rico Morales is one for two. The windup and the delivery by Danny Wilmont uh, is swung on by Morales, and we're going to have an error check, I do believe. No, we're not. Morales just hit it to center and deep. Back goes Paul Moody, warning track, wall, and it's gone. And a leadoff blast from Morales to center field extends the drillers' lead to 4-2. to two. Not a good start for Danny Wilmont, and I'm going to get the bullpen going here because I think this, this game is still winnable. So Robert Knight is going to start warming up in the Bulls' bullpen. All right, 4-2 game, top of the six. Wilmont's got to get it together. Bob McPherson comes to the plate. The windup and the delivery to McPherson from Wilmont is ball four. He walked in. A little loss of composure for the youngster after the home run. Reed comes to the plate, fresh off his three-run home run in the fourth. 
Double play depth for the Bulls infield. The stretch by Wilmot and the delivery to Reed is swung on by Reed and this is a base hit. McPherson stops at second. There's two on with nobody out and Juarez comes to the plate. Robert Knight can't get ready fast enough. Juarez up there now, the stretch by Wilmont and the delivery. Uh, Juarez draws a walk and they're loaded and I'm gonna go get Wilmont Tideki. He is coming out of there immediately. All right, so Wilmont is done. You can stick a fork in him. <laughs> four batters faced uh, and all four reach base. So Robert Knight is coming on. I'm gonna try my best not to call him the general or make references to him throwing a chair across the diamond. Uh, so Knight is a right-hander. 65 is his value, he has stamina of threes, a minus two against lefties and a minus three against righties. He's got a tall task here. He's got Melendez coming up. The bases are loaded with nobody out in the six. Four, two drillers. Knight the stretch and the delivery to Vincent Melendez. And he strikes him out. And boy, did he need that. That strikeout, that's the first out of the six. Strikeout number one, of course, for Knight. And here's Dave Schultz. The stretch by Knight, the delivery to Schultz. And Schultz hits one on the ground to second baseman, Chris Lane. They're gonna try for the double play. Uh, Lane is gonna flip to Bartlett for one. They get him. Now the relay to first to get Schultz is in time for a rally killing soul crushing four six three double play turned by the bulls and they escape a bases loaded with none out jam thanks to the good work of robert knight we go to the bottom of the six still however the drillers get a run on two hits and they do leave two we go to the bottom of six and it's the drillers four and the bulls two. Meat of the order coming up for the bulls in the sixth. But before we do that, let's check Manuel Alvarez's stamina and he will lose one. So he's down to a minus two and a minus four, but still has plenty of juju going. Carmona, Scrooby and Ventura coming up for the bulls in the sixth. The wind up by Alvarez and the delivery to Carmona. And it's hit in the air by Carmona. It's hit to left and that's one down. Bill Scrooby is one for two and he's up there now. The Bulls have a four and one, no, three and one, excuse me, I keep saying four and one. They have a three and one start going. They're going for their fourth win of the season today. Scrooby is one for two. The pitch by Alvarez to the DH. And it's hit on the ground by Scrooby. Right back to Manuel Alvarez. He turns and flips to first, and there's two away in the Bulls' sixth. Juan Ventura comes to the plate. He's 0 for 1. Alvarez kicks and deals to Ventura. And... Ventura hits a little nubber right out in front of home plate. That will be out number three, and it's a one, two, three, sixth inning for Alvarez. We go to the seventh, and your score is the Drillers four, and the uh, Bulls two. Robert Knight is gonna pitch his second inning of work here in the top of the seventh. He'll start with the Drillers leadoff batter, Michael Nelson. He'll be followed by Miranda and then Haggerty. Knight kicks and delivers. Nelson swings, and this is trouble. It's gonna be extra bases into the right center field gap for Nelson. 
Moody's got to run it down. Nelson around first. He's going to cruise into second with the leadoff double. Miranda is 0 for 3, and he's up there now. Knight, the stretch, the delivery to Raul Miranda. And Miranda hits it on the ground. It goes to first baseman Pancho Carmona. Now, Pancho Carmona has many virtues but being a good glove man is not one of them. But he is gonna take it to the bag unassisted for out number one. Nelson advances to third with one out, and I think I gotta bring the infield in here. Haggerty at the plate. 4-2 lead for the drillers, we're in the seventh. I don't want them to get any further in front. Haggerty is one for three. Knight, the stretch, the delivery to Haggerty. And this is gonna be an error check. And no, it's not. Oh, man, it's a strikeout. So we have to check for a passed ball. I do believe. Ventura is a... We're checking for an error on Ventura to see if the he can make the play to first base. Uh, this is his primary position, and he doesn't make the play. So it's going to be a strikeout, and I'm going to give him a passed ball that allows Haggerty to reach. Holding at third will be Nelson and the problems for the Bulls continue. So the infield is gonna stay in. Morales is at the plate. There's runners at the corners for the drillers and a chance to blow it open here in the seventh. Knight the stretch, the delivery to Morales. And it is hit in the air. This goes to left field. Lidstrom's arm is a four. Uh, let's see if they want to send, try and get Nelson to come home on a sacrifice fly by Morales. Uh, no, they don't. Uh, no, they don't. So that'll be out number two. Driller's still at the corners, and McPherson comes to the plate. Knight, a good pitch from getting out of the mess. The stretch by Knight, the delivery to McPherson. And Knight gets McPherson to hit one in the air, but it's to left, and that's gonna be Lidstrom one more time, and he makes the catch for out number three. So, the drillers have a golden opportunity to pad the lead, but they don't get the job done. We go to the bottom of the seventh, time to stretch them out in Bulls country. And your score is the drillers four and the Bulls two. It's time for a fatigue check for Manuel Alvarez. And this is his say, no change. So he's still at minus two and minus four. That's bad news for the Bulls. It'll be Phelps, Lidstrom, and Lane coming up in the Bulls' seventh inning. The delivery from Alvarez. Boy, he's been tough. And this is, as soon as I say that, a fly ball. And it is going to be caught in center field by Dave Schultz for out number one. All right, Kenny Lidstrom is up there. He's looked bad in two trips, subbing for uh, Leroy Ramy today in left field. All right, the wind and the delivery by Alvarez to Lidstrom. And a base hit for Lidstrom. Suddenly motivated Kenny Lidstrom with a base hit, brings up Chris Lane as the potential tying run at the plate. Alvarez the stretch and the pitch to Chris Lane is drilled by Lane and this is gonna be trouble. It's gonna be extra bases, another extra base hit for Chris Lane. Lidstrom around second heading to third. Lane into second with a sliding double for some reason and Bartlett comes to the plate. Second and third chance to tie the game. Alvarez having a little bit of a rocky seventh inning here. 
and we're going to see some action start in the bullpen for the drillers. So that is going to be, well, you know, the drillers, it's going to be George Armstrong and Mike Jones. No, oh, no, it's not. It's just going to be George Armstrong starting in the bullpen for the drillers, starting to throw. Um, drillers have a lot of arms. The middle relief isn't great, but boy, their starters are tough. Bartlett is up. Uh, infield is back. The stretch by Alvarez. The pitch to Bartlett. Is swung on by Bartlett and hit on the ground. This goes right back to Alvarez. The runners have to hold. Alvarez turns and throws to first for out number two. The Bulls have not had breaks in this game. Here's Paul, although they've had breaks in the other games, so I guess I shouldn't shouldn't be too critical of the uh, of the luck factor. Alvarez has a chance to get out of the inning. Paul Moody is two for three. Let's see what happens. The delivery by Alvarez. And he struck him out. Alvarez pumps his fist. That is strikeout number eight for the Drillers right-hander. And the Bulls leave two in scoring position. We go to the eighth inning and your scores. The Drillers four and the Bulls two. Robert Knight is going to try to continue his good work for his third inning here. Reed Juarez and Melendez coming up in the Drillers' eighth inning. Uh, Reed is two for three. Robert Knight winds and delivers to Martin Reed. And Reed swings and hits a line drive, and that is right at the head of Phelps at third, and there's one down. Juarez comes to the plate. They're hitting shots all over the field, but they're getting away with it. At least Robert Knight is. The wind up in the delivery by Knight to Juarez is swung on and drilled by Juarez. This has a chance to get out of here. Juarez power number is a three. Let's see if he got it. He did and it's gone. The DH for the Drillers has just left the building. That makes the Drillers lead 5-2, to two, and Knight shakes his head on the mound. All right, that's going to get the Bulls' bullpen cooking one more time. I've been able to piece together the, the bullpen and the pitching staff in general in the early going, but... Not today. Robin Salas is going to start to throw in the Bulls' bullpen. He's a left-hander, and I've used him a lot. <laughs> All right, here we go. Knight dealing to Melendez. The wind-up in the delivery by Robert Knight is swung on by Melendez, and it's hit on the ground. This goes to Robert Bartlett, who gobbles it up at short and fires to Pancho Carmona at first for out number two. That'll bring up Dave Schultz with a chance for the Bulls to get out of this eighth inning. Schultz is 0 for 3. The pitch to Dave Schultz is strike 3 swinging. He got him on a bender, and that will retire the side with Robert Knight's third strikeout. The Drillers get a run on a one hit. It's the home run by Juarez that extends their lead to 5-2. to two. As we go to the bottom of the eighth, and Alvarez hasn't been perfect, but he's been very good in this one. We'll check his stamina one more time. And he's going to lose a point here, minus one uh, against lefties, minus three against righties. Uh, but he has only allowed, well, he has scattered seven hits, but he's only allowed two runs. He has struck out eight. He hasn't walked anybody. He has been tough. Now starting to throw in the drillers bullpen is their closer, Bill Henry. Uh, so he is throwing and now George Armstrong is right alongside him. 
So a pair of left-handers going in the driller's bullpen. Bryant, Carmona, and Scrooby coming up in the Bulls' eighth inning. Alvarez winds and deals. Dave Bryant strikes out. Number nine for Alvarez. And Carmona comes to the plate. Pancho is 0 for 3. The wind up in the delivery by Alvarez to Carmona. And Pancho hits one in the air. This goes to left field, and that's two down in the Bulls' eighth inning. They're going down with a whimper and not a bang. Bill Scrooby, one for three. He's coming up there now. Alvarez kicks and delivers. And Scrooby hits one on the ground. Goes to short. He throws to first, and it's a one, two, three, eighth inning for Alvarez. We go to the ninth, and your score is the Drillers five and the Bulls two. Now, Robert Knight is going to try and pitch his fourth inning of work. We got to do a fatigue check on him. I'd rather not use Robin Salas in this game if I can get away with it. So let's see if I can get away with it. Uh, minus one for Knight. That knocks him down to a minus one and a minus two. All right, maybe we can get through the ninth. It'll be the top of the driller's order. Nelson, Miranda, and Haggerty coming up in the driller's ninth. Knight kicks and deals. Nelson swings and hits it to center and deep. Michael Nelson, Moody back, warning track, wall, and it's gone. A bomb for Nelson, the second home run allowed by Knight, and it's 6-2. It is 6-2, and I'm, I gotta go to Salas now. So Knight is done after three plus innings of work. Uh, he allowed three hits. Two of them were bombs. He didn't walk anybody. He did strike out three. And uh, that's going to do it for him. Salas is on. He is a he has a value of 63. Stamina of two. He's a minus two, minus four guy. And he's got a couple of lefties coming up uh, for the drillers in the ninth. Here, uh, Miranda and Haggerty are lefties, and then Morales will be a righty. Salas is kind of a reverse lefty, so hopefully he can get through this without any trouble. The pitch to Miranda. And Robin Salas walks Miranda. And the bleeding continues. All right, Haggerty comes up. The Bulls' defense moves to double plate up. The stretch by Salas. Uh, and the delivery to Haggerty. And he struck him out. Uh, no, he didn't. He popped him up. Excuse me. Pop up. Third baseman Phelps in fair territory takes it for out number one. Miranda's still at first, and Morales comes to the plate. Two for four. Salas the stretch. The pitch to Morales. And he struck him out. Two down in the driller's ninth. And Bob McPherson comes to the plate. The stretch by Salas. The delivery to McPherson who's 0 for 2. And he struck him out. So Salas gets him out of the inning. But not before a home run happens for Nelson off of Knight. And we go to the bottom of the ninth with your score. The Drillers six and the Bulls two. And because the Drillers scored, Alvarez is gonna try for the complete game. Uh, let's do a fatigue check and see where we are with Alvarez. And that will be a minus one. Yeah, so we're down to a zero and a minus two for Alvarez. He'll face Ventura, Phelps, and Lidstrom unless I go to the bench, and boy, am I going to the bench. Ventura's gonna lead it off, he's 0 for two. I in the on deck circle. 
uh, is going to be a pinch hitter for Phelps. Phelps has been, and I shouldn't lay it all on Phelps, but you know what? I'm going to. Uh, a pinch hitter for Phelps is going to be Craig McKenzie's in the on deck circle. All right, Alvarez deals. Ventura. Uh, hits it on the ground. This is right out in front of home plate. The catcher fires to first, and there's one away in the Bulls' ninth inning. Phelps is being called back to the dugout. It's going to be Craig McKenzie to pinch hit for him. McKenzie's been my super sub so far, and he's probably playing tomorrow, so he's going to get in that bat in this one against Alvarez. All right, Alvarez winds and deals to Craig McKenzie. And McKenzie, yep, it'll be on McKenzie's card. And he struck him out, number 10 for Alvarez. And that will make Kenny Lidstrom the last chance saloon in this one for the Bulls. Alvarez winds and delivers to Lidstrom, and Lidstrom hits one in the air. Goes to right field, and that is your ball game. Let's give you the totals on this one. What a job by Manuel Alvarez. For the visiting and victorious drillers, Six runs on nine base hits, and they committed no errors. The Bulls, two runs. Shut down by Alvarez, uh, and they had seven base hits, and I don't believe, yes, they did commit an error. I think. Yes, they committed one error. The winning pitcher is Alvarez. He goes the distance. Uh, strikes out 10, doesn't walk anybody, allowed two runs. Dominant performance. So the victory for Manuel Alvarez. The loss uh, goes to Raul Huerta, although he probably deserved a better fate. Uh, the drillers take this one six to two with the victory or with the loss, excuse me, the Bulls fall to a record of three and two. That means our next game will be the third final and rubber game in the series. And I hope you'll join me for that one. In the meantime, don't forget to check out the On Deck Baseball website. That link is in the description for the video, as well as the link for channel membership. That link is in the description for this video as well. But for now, from Bulls country, your final is the Drillers 6 and the Bulls 2. Have a great evening. So long, everybody.